Hello students. Today is the fifth lecture session, part one. Topic of the lecture database systems. In this video, we will cover the following topics. What is data? What is database? Types of databases. Database components. Elements of database. Characteristics of database. Advantages of database, disadvantages of database. Conclusion. What is data? In simple words, data can be facts related to any object in consideration. For example, your name, age, height, weight, etc. are some data related to you. A picture, image, file, dead, etc. can also be considered data. What is database? A database is a systematic collection of data. They support electronic storage and manipulation of data. Databases make data management easy. Let us discuss a database example. An online telephone directory uses a database to store data of people, phone numbers, and other contact details. Your electricity service provider uses a database to manage billing, client-related issues, handle fault data, etc. Let us also consider Facebook. It needs to store, manipulate, and present data related to members, their friends, member activities, messages, advertisements, and a lot more. We can provide a countless number of examples for the usage of databases. Types of databases Here are some popular types of databases. Distributed databases a distributed database is a type of database that has contributions from the common database and information captured by local computers. In this type of database system, the data is not in one place and is distributed at various organizations. Relational databases This type of database defines database relationships in the form of tables. It is also called relational DDNs, which is the most popular DDNs type in the market. Database example of the Arden system include MISCL, Oracle, and Microsoft Scali server database. Object-oriented databases. This type of computer's database supports the storage of all data types. The data is stored in the form of objects. The objects to be held in the database have attributes and methods that define what to do with the data. PostgreSQL is an example of an object-oriented relational DDNs. Centralized database. It is a centralized location, and users from different backgrounds can access this data. This type of computer's databases store application procedures that help users access the data even from a remote location. Open source databases. This kind of database stored information related to operations. It is mainly used in the field of marketing, employee relations, customer service, of databases. Cloud databases A cloud database is a database which is optimized or built for such a virtualized environment. There are so many advantages of a cloud database, some of which can pay for storage capacity and bandwidth. It also offers scalability on demand, along with high availability. Data warehouses Data warehouses to facilitate a single version of truth for a company for decision making and forecasting. A data warehouse is an information system that contains historical and commutative data from single or multiple sources. Data warehouse concept simplifies the reporting and analysis process of the organization. NoSQL databases NoSQL database is used for large sets of distributed data. There are a few big data performance problems that are effectively handled by relational databases. This type of computer's database is very efficient in analyzing large size and structured data. Graph databases A graph-oriented database uses graph theory to store, map, and query relationships. These kinds of computer's databases are mostly used for analyzing interconnections. For example, an organization can use a graph database to mine data about customers from social media. Old PC databases 
will PC another database type which able to perform fast query processing and maintaining data integrity in multi-access environments. Personal Database a personal database is used to store data stored on personal computers that are smaller and easily manageable. The data is mostly used by the same department of the company and is accessed by a small group of people. Multimodal database. The multimodal database is a type of data processing platform that supports multiple data models that define how the certain knowledge and information in a database should be organized and arranged. Document slash some database. In a document oriented database, the data is kept in document collections, usually using the XML, JSON, JSON formats. One record can store as much data as you want in any data type or types you prefer. Hierarchical. This type of DDMs employs the parent child relationship of storing data. Its structure is like a tree with nodes representing records and branches representing fields. The Windows registry used in Windows SP is a hierarchical database example. Network DDMs. This type of DDM supports many too many relations. It usually results in complex database structures. REM server is an example of database management system that implements the network model. Database Components There are five main components of a database. Hardware The hardware consists of physical, electronic devices like computers, I-slash-O devices, storage devices, etc. This offers the interface between computers and real-world systems. Software This is a set of programs used to manage and control the overall database. This includes the database software itself, the operating system, the network software used to share the data among users, and the application programs for accessing data in the database. Data Data is a raw and organized fact that is required to be processed to make it meaningful. Data can be simple at the same time and organized unless it is organized. Generally, data comprises facts, observations, perceptions, numbers, characters, symbols, images, etc. Procedure Procedure are a set of instructions and rules that help you to use the DDMs. It is designing and running the database using documented methods, which allows you to guide the users who operate and manage it. Database Access Language Database access language is used to access the data to and from the database, enter new data, update already existing data, or retrieve required data from DDMs. The user writes some specific commands in a database access language and submits these to the database. Elements of database Database elements are fields, rows, columns, tables. All these are building blocks of database. Table A database table consists of rows and columns which contain data. For example, you have a table that stores profiles of individuals that is, Tahoe, name, address and contact details. Rows Rows contain data having one or more columns. Reading data in rows is easier to understand the information. For example, reading a profile having Daho, name, address and contact a single record in one row. Columns Columns are similar to fields, individual items that contain data. In above example a profile record has a name, address and contact have three columns. Fields A field is a piece of a record and contains a single piece of data. In the above example of database field is names as a single cell. Characteristics of database The data in a database should have the following features. The data is organized and related. The data in database is shared among different users and applications. The data in database is persistent. The data is secured from unauthorized access. The data in database is non-redundant. Validity and integrity of data is also ensured in database. The data is easily accessible and available to users as and when required. 
Advantages of database, disadvantages of database. Advantages of database. Enhanced and improved data security. Data redundancy is reduced. The consistency of data is increased. Data integrity and independence. Improved data access to users through use of host and query languages. Development of new applications program is facilitated. Disadvantages of database. Time is consumed in designing complex database systems. Damage to database affects virtually all applications programs. Considerable hardware and software startup costs. Extensive conversion costs in shifting from a file-based system to a database system. Training is required for all programmers and users. Conclusion Databases are the most important component of information systems. Information systems are designed to store and process large amounts of information. Initially, such systems existed in writing. For this, various filing cabinets, folders, magazines, library catalogs, etc. were used. Any information system should perform three main functions, data entry, data queries, reporting. The user benefits from using the database as a paperless technology. Compactness. The information is stored in a database. There is no need to store multi-volume paper files. Speed. The speed of information processing, searching, making changes, by a computer is much higher than manual processing. Low labor costs. There is no need for tedious manual data manipulation. Applicability. Fresh information is always available. Thank you for your attention.